Hey there, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot Channel. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see what is going on. So, what is coming towards Cancers? What is coming towards Cancers? Looks like your life is going to get some sort of upgrade because I keep looking at this leveling up. You are leveling up in life. So what's coming towards you is a level up, some sort of promotion, some sort of upgrade in your life, some sort of change that's going to be good. You may find yourself spending more time by yourself because even in this leveling up, there's just one person there. And right here we got solitude. And I feel like you may be saying to yourself because you may be feeling triggered. Some of you may be purchasing a new car. Um, I feel like your level up, even though you may feel triggered, I feel like your level up is going to trigger other people. So it may make you feel triggered to where you may want to just spend time by yourself. All right. Um, let's see. What else is coming towards Cancers? What's going on around Cancers? We got here recalling. So you're going to be thinking about the past Cancer, your journey. You're going to be thinking about what you've gone through. It says here recalling, reminiscing, memories, returning. So you're going to be thinking about the past. It looks like you're going to be thinking about uh, a, a particular person, actually, because there's two people here in this picture. So you may be thinking about someone that you've been on a long journey with memories feeling nostalgic someone is going to be on your mind if they're not already we got here unexpected look at here and look what's next toxic friends and family didn't i tell you see that's what i'm saying they're going to be shocked because what's going to be unexpected for you is this level up. So that's what I'm saying. Like you have something here and they're going to project. It says your life is a projection of the energy you are putting out. I feel like the thing about it is people are going to be irritated by your level up and they're going to start projecting. So maybe uh, saying saying things about you that's actually true for them and this is going to be coming from friends and family because they're going to be shocked look at this unexpected they're going to be shocked by your level up and you may feel because your friends and family are being toxic solitude i need to be alone because some of you are going to get a new car you're going to get a nice car and these people are going to be shocked. They're going to be surprised by this type of car or whatever. It could even be a house. But there is some sort of, let me pull this back. There is some level up, some sort of upgrade that you're going to have in your life that's going to shock people. And like I said, these are people that you know and they're going to be triggered by this. So like I said, you feel like you're going to feel like staying to yourself we got here receipts coming in someone feels like you owe them cancers you'll know who the person is i feel like you'll know you will know someone feels like you owe them because we got here taking for granted use and abuse and then we got here self-love Staying to yourself. I feel like with this level up, with this upgrade, some of you may even come into some money, some unexpected money. But there are going to be people or a particular person in your life that's going to feel entitled to your upgrade, entitled to your car, entitled to your money, entitled to access to you. I'm just really seeing you're going to be seeing yourself. Uh, what's coming your way is a lot of time on your own. Self-love. And as you're loving yourself, your life is going to be upgrading as well. Some of you may even be going on like some sort of vacation, maybe some sort of spa. Uh, some of you may be going to get like massages, going to get your hair done. It just feels like, uh, or even just spending the t time alone reading. I just feel like you're going to be by yourself and you're going to be okay with being by yourself. And again, I, I got to warn you guys, there's someone that's going to be feeling entitled, though, to you, to your money, to what you have. 
it's like they're going to be trying to say, well, remember when I did this for you and, you know, I helped you with this or when you needed that or just something, even if they, even if they didn't do anything to help you, they feel entitled to what you have. And remember we saw projecting, right? So like I said, what's true is that they're projecting. What's true is that you could have been the one that was actually helping them out. You could actually be the one that felt used and abused. So you're like, I am staying to myself. Your level up is really going to bother these people. Some of you may actually, again, car. Somebody is definitely getting a car. Because I'm seeing all these cars here. Someone's going to get a car. And then the car right here. That's what I'm saying. Someone's going to get a nice car. Or even if it's not a nice car. Because some people may be used to you having an old dirty car. Or having some sort of broken beaten car. Because look at this broken shoe. Look at this beaten up torn shoe. Right? Someone is used to you being in this energy. Having less than. Not having much to show for in your life. Well, this level up, you're going to have a lot to show for. And someone is going to be counting your money. Like they're watching you and as you are growing, as you're accruing, you know, material things, they're keeping tabs on you. I'm also seeing, again, see, look, here goes the car again. Somebody, this is your sign. The third time car right here cars in this picture and look there's a mercedes car right there somebody is definitely getting a car all right so what else is coming your way we have the x the x is coming your way cancer so what is up with this x what is up with this x this x is an x for a reason right let's see what's up with this x Hmm. This person is going to come to see you, Cancers. I feel like they may, uh, or ask to meet up with you. This feels like a return. Obviously, it's the ex, but it feels like returning back into your life. So they may ask to see you or come to your home. Tell me about this ex for what's coming up. For you guys, the grass. Okay, so whoever this ex is, the grass was fake where they were. It says the grass was greener because it was fake. So this could be someone that chose, like, didn't choose you. They chose another option. Rather, it was a person. Rather, it was money. I feel like it could have been all of the above because it looks like they have an expensive car, or they may have like expensive taste. So this person may be. Um, really into material things, financial things, affluent things. They like nice, expensive, luxury things is what I'm getting here with this ex. And so I feel like they chose that over you. Like, so they could have been spending a lot of time working, trying to make money. This person could be a performer or they could be in the entertainment industry. Um, hmm. I'm also seeing that this person could have gotten a tarot reading on you. Tarot reading. Someone has gotten a reading on you. And this is the second time I'm seeing something around jail or arrested. So I don't know if this person has like a... And here is tarot reader again. So there's something here. The fact that I grabbed this. There's something significant about tarot reader. And here's the justice. So, and remember we see here, arrested. So this person, whoever this person is, they may be dealing with the law, okay? They could be dealing with the justice system. Uh, maybe they're having to go to court. This could also be someone that maybe has a record. But it looks like there's terror readings going on. And by me seeing two, I feel like this is something that you're into and also something that they are into, Theirs could be hidden. 
this could be hidden, but they have some sort of tarot reader that, that they go to. And the reason why I feel like theirs could be hidden is because of this judgment card. So this is not something where they are out in the open when it comes to readings. You may be, because the Empress is coming in and that's for your energy. I feel like you may be more open or public about your interest in tarot readings or getting them, watching them or performing them because you could be a tarot reader as well. Take it how it resonates with you. Um, but they are actually in the closet with their tarot readings. So let's see what this reading was about. I feel like they got, they've gotten them on a judgment as not just, um, I feel like with this arrest, I feel like they were getting help spiritually through tarot readings trying to see what was going to happen with this justice system so uh speaking of divine feminine is coming in as well this person is addicted to you but they try to hide it we got here denial not facing the truth irrational reason whoever this ex is um they're addicted to you we got here addiction this person is addicted to you because the next card here is divine feminine and she's she is like like she's having to cover up her body parts i feel like this is someone who is like really really into you but they don't show it like if you're around them i don't know what's going on with you and this person and what i mean by that is like they're coming across as the ex, but I don't feel like for this, for some of you, this could be someone that you were in a long-term relationship with, but for others, I don't feel like you could have been in a long-term relationship. So take, when I use, when I say ex, take it loosely, cause this could be a secret admirer for some of you. Okay. Just take it loosely. I don't know. Um, but either way, this person is addicted to you in a sexual way but they try to hide it they deny their feelings for you and i feel like they do that because of time because it says here tick tock and also because of finances checking bank records so again there's some question marks around their money because they're going through some sort of legal matter and i feel like i told you guys the, they get readings to see what's the judgment around their legal situation Let's see, because their mind, it says, relax, clear your mind. There's, their mind is, um, their mind is, it's like on this situation because it means a lot to them, this judgment, because they may have to pay and they may feel like it's going to take a lot of their money. That's what I feel like. I feel like they could have gotten themselves into something financially, or they could have been also working really hard to pay some sort of debt, some sort of like institution, a lawyer or um, a legal matter. They, or maybe they're going to have a judgment and it's going to cost them. And so they want to be able to have the money for it. Let's, I, I'm curious though. I want to know about this tarot reading aside from this judgment. And I'm going to look at yours in a second because it comes up for you too. I want to know more about their tarot reading. They yeah, told you they were looking for guidance. Yeah, they get you. Can you see it? It says it right there. Is that this person? Uh, look on forbidden love. It's not just on. Let me push this up. Sorry, I moved it back by accident. It's not just on guidance around what to do with this legal matter. This and that's going to affect them financially. It's also on a forbidden love, a tragedy. So they get tarot readings on that as well, and also. Look, black magic is in reverse. And see, I told you, look, legal. I told, they got a legal system. This is just furthermore confirming it for you guys. That's what I'm saying. They got a lot going on. Whoever this quote um, X is, and again, I, we use that loosely because for some of you, this could be someone you dated for years. And for others, this could just be someone you know in passing that's interested in you, but haven't really put themselves out there. So just take it how it resonates. But I feel like they've been trying to get guidance on how to break some sort of black magic, some sort of spell work that's on them. And also, like I said, legal matter. We got court paperwork filed. So they could also be having to pay money to file some paperwork. Um, they could also maybe be, this could also be um, with this justice system trying to get someone arrested. Um, they could be dealing with someone because we got the black magic in reverse. 
and maybe they're dealing with someone that they're that they're going to court with that they're trying to get arrested or vice versa yeah see it was an injustice there was some sort of, and see how the legal system keeps coming in you got it like how many times we got it four times we got it four times legal right there here comes the arrest here comes the justice system and here it is again injustice and toxic so they've been getting readings to help break some sort of black magic because that's in reverse married man so this there's there's a married man coming into the picture and then we got here friends and then we got male relative all right so um yeah and see here comes love searching yeah they got a lot on their plate okay they 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 too much <laughs> and i'm saying that for me because it's like geez you got all this going on okay so we got here no wonder they need guidance no wonder here it is adore admire and enchantment this person is enchanted by you they're enchanted by you and then we got here there's something going on with a married man in their life with their friends and then a male relative they they got a lot going on hmm so let's see what does this mean to you I, and then i'm gonna look over here in your energy because we got searching what does this mean to you because i know that their mind is all over the place with it this is why their mind is like this because i mean can't you tell with the married man the the friends the relative the black magic and then the legal system of course their mind is like all over the place of course they're stressed out of course they're having a hard time relaxing and so they're trying to get guidance secretly going through spiritual people tarot readers and we saw TikTok, right when it comes to you i want to see more about why they're coming in <laughs> life purpose and new view popped up and look upgrade you and this person are just alike. You are leveling up. See, leveling up for you and so are they. Your life is about to have an upgrade. So are they. So that's why they got that, that expensive car. Because that car could be symbolic for them having luxury items, material items. Upgrading their life, buying things. Just like you're doing the same thing. Oh, we got here termination. You may be getting let go from a job. They got fired. They got fired. And in the midst of that, they're still going through something. The thing about it is we got here life purpose. Finding your life purpose. Getting fired is actually going to be a blessing for this person. They're going to see it from a different perspective. It says seeing things from a higher perspective. A new view. They're going to see losing their job was actually a blessing. Because losing their job is leading to an upgrade. It's leading to them finding their life purpose. Because whatever it is. I feel like it's going to, whatever they're doing, I feel like it's going to financially be a blessing for them. And they're trying to figure out what to do. See, look at here. It says desires. Someone is desiring you. This person is desiring you. Why are they coming into Cancer's reading? Why, why are they coming in so heavy into Cancer's reading? Ooh, because of childish. They, they are realizing they acted childish. You see how it says self-reflection, taking a moment. Someone was being very childish. They're coming into your reading because they feel like they were acting childish. And they have spent some time purifying their energy. That's why we got all these people that they were consumed by. They were dealing with all those people. And as a result of being around these energy vampires, it was rubbing off on them. So they acted childish towards you. So they've been taking some time to purify their energy. Because they got into it with those people. You see how it says altercation? A physical altercation may break out. They got into a physical fight. See, evil eye. People going against them. People turning against them. Someone wishing them ill will. And it says caution. So I feel like with this altercation, it was even with their friends. And then look, there's a woman here that was sending them an evil eye too. 
So they had to take some time and purify their energy. And as a result of purifying their energy and getting away from these people, this evil eye and this black magic that was around them, they realized that they were acting childish when it comes to you. All right, let's see. What is, what's going on over here? Let's go over here to Cancer's energy. Okay, so you needed to know about this person. And I feel like you needed to know because of the self-reflection, the upgrade that's taking place in their life and everything. They lost their job. That, that's why that black magic and evil eye was coming through heavy for them. They lost their job. They had a lot going on. So, and yeah, see even right here, it says masquerade games. Again, th there's a cover up with this person. And even right here, we see denial when it comes to you. This person hides their feelings for you, Cancers. Divine Feminine. They hide their feelings for you. And we got Tarot Reader for you as well that's coming out. And the Empress is attached to that. All right, let me see. Tell me more about Cancers. Let's move into your energy. And I'll pull a little bit later around this person if you want me to. Oh, cancers, arrested in jail time. Gosh, how many times are we going to see legal stuff coming through? This is coming in for your energy. Hmm. Arrested in jail time. Why is this showing up for cancers? Are you guys, some of you may be dealing with um, a legal matter. And we got, I am your worst nightmare. You are, or you will be. There's some, look. You got here gossip, petty, jealous, envy. So you and this person mirror each other. You guys are mirroring each other. Just like how they got into it with their friends. Remember we talked about your toxic family and friends that are petty and got, look, petty, jealous, and envious of you. So you may have to, I don't know who this person is, but you may be dealing with a legal situation as well with someone. Or, you're, or maybe you're carrying emotional baggage from having dealt with that. Some sort of injustice when it comes to people gossiping about you, being petty towards you, envy. It looks like someone is gossiping behind your back, spreading rumors. Oh, we got here crickets. Again, you haven't been saying anything. Yeah, escaping the ego. You're, you're not in your ego. Your focus has been on your level up. That's why you're leveling up. Your focus has been on your self-love. That's why you're getting this level up. That's why you're getting this upgrade. Because you have escaped the ego. And rather than engage in the petty behavior that they are sending towards you, you're not reacting. Crickets on your end. Because you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your level up. Hmm, okay, anything else? We got to have projected. So something is projected to happen. You know what's projected? A union. You have a union projected to happen in the um, future. This could be days, weeks, months. That's probably why this person was showing up. Because I told you this ex is returning. So they're going to come in and approach you. A, a look, a proposal. They got, look, distance. A proposal. So whoever this person is that's projected to come into union with you is coming with a proposal. So they could either be proposing marriage to you or proposing some sort of idea, proposing some sort of compromise. It feels like, um, here goes the legal system again. Lawsuit. But this is making me feel like winning. Because look, Healy, this is making me feel like justice. Justice being served. And with this distance, I feel like someone may be moving over here. I feel like this person, because remember we saw the movement. So I feel like uh, there could be a move. I don't know. On Yeah, and look, soulmate. So I don't know who is going to be moving. But there could be, especially for, uh, let me see. Let me get some more information around that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I want to know more around this energy. Yeah, look, we got conflict. Be careful with whom you deal with. Anything related to your finances. 
Yeah, they could have had to go to court for their finances. That's where that, remember getting into it with people, they could have went into business with some people or they could have lost their job and maybe they're suing their company uh, for whatever reason. But I'm seeing that lawsuit work in their favor, which is why they're able to buy that car we saw. Um, they may even be giving you the car. Remember we talked, they may be the one, that's who that car, it's like come outside, I have something for you. That car could very well be for you. Because this is making me feel like, see, even right here, here's a ring. And I feel like that lawsuit brought in money for them. Mm, okay, let me see. And because of whatever this conflict is, they want to make it right with you. Tell me more. I feel like this person is looking up information on you because I'm seeing here searching. And then it says here snooping through emails. I also feel like exes, exes go online and look up the person that they're um, exes with information. So I feel like whoever this person was dealing with, whether, um, you know, ex friends or ex lovers, I feel like they look to see who, what you're about as well. See, look, here's access. Your investments are growing. Yeah. This person has assets. Their investment is paying off. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this, this may be where that car comes in. They're going to buy the car for you. And it's going to get people talking even more because you didn't even buy it. Someone who loves you, loved you so much that they bought you a luxury car. It says here, watch out. Look, see, shopping. See, this person is watching you. They've been, see, they have been, I told you, this person has been watching you. I need to know about you. I need to see what's going on with you. I need to know like what you need, what you're into, because I want to go shopping. And look, the next card says feelings. I love you. I told you, I told y'all that's what this is about shopping. I'm looking to see what you're into, to see what you like so I can go buy it. Cause I want you to see just how real my love is for you. I love you. And it's more than just that sex energy. It's both. They're addicted to you sexually and they are in love with you. They're trying to they're trying to come up with something clever. And so it could also be that proposal too. See looking to make some sort of adjustments in their life. Because I feel like remember the grass was greener. So they were choosing things other than you. Now they're making adjustments because you're important to them. All right. Um, they keep coming through. Yeah, see here. We got here a learner. This person, I feel like, feels as though that they could learn from you. You make them happy. They're proud of you. They think you're so smart. <laughs> they really do. They have you on a pedestal. They have you on a pedestal and they just feel so happy to be connected to someone like you. You're not like their um, friends and they're not like your friends. All right. Uh, this connection could be healing. Let's go ahead and um, wrap up what's coming your way next, Cancers. What do you need to know about what is coming your way next? Holy Spirit, what is coming Cancers way? That Knight of Pentacles, look, see, look here, physical, material. Someone is slowly, someone that has took their time, but they took their time because they were really trying to figure out what it is that they can do, what it is that they can buy you, what it is that they could give to you. That's what they're doing. They're coming your way. That's what's coming your way. Someone is looking to give you something that they have put a lot of time and energy and thought into to make up. And we have here the five of swords. That car really wanted to come through too. It's like they sabotaged the relationship, playing games, acting childish with that five of swords. They were playing games, pride, acting nasty at some point. They did something that was greed based off of greed. Now I want to move on in peace. I want to heal it. I want to fix it. I know I sabotaged it by acting nasty by or whatever it is that they did, but they now want to fix it. Yep. See, here's the justice card going back and forth with how to make amends, how to make amends with you. So uh, let's get one Oracle card on what's coming cancer's way. 
to wrap up your reading. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Healing and look, marriage. Marriage is what's coming your way. Yep, that's that proposal. That's why they're going to be buying you things because you're their spouse. Why not buy for their spouse, the love of their life? All right, Cancers, I wish you all the best. You can invite me to your wedding. <laughs> Bye.